Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com my name is ramandeep singh and today we are going to do an important topic very basic topic but it's very important for your exam rbi's origin structure and functions we are going to do 20 important mcqs yesterday i did a proper class uh, on rbi's origin structure and functions in the course and today i'm doing the mcqs right the explanation of mcqs is important my name is ramandeep singh and i've been teaching on bank exam study from last 12 years and let's start the session before starting let me tell you that ibps rrb scale 2 scale 3 course it's available on bankexamstudy.com in which we are providing video classes notes quizzes and the test series link to join the course is available in the description right and this is the whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts all the links are available in the description so the question number 1 when was the rbi nationalized banking history question easy First of January nineteen forty nine on this date RBI was nationalized right. Where is the central office of RBI located? It is located in Mumbai. RBI central office is located in Mumbai. Okay. How many deputy governors can be part of RBI's central board of directors? Right. Not more than four. Not more than four uh, deputy governors can be part of RBI Central Board of uh, Central Board of uh, Directors, right? How many directors from various fields are nominated by the government of India as non-official directors? Ten. Ten members are nominated by the government of India. Which cities are represented by local boards that nominate directors to Central Board of Directors of RBI? Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, and Delhi. Uh, these are the four offices of RBI uh, from which, uh, you know, uh, so directors are nominated from these cities, right? Who was the first governor of RBI? Banking history question, uh, Sir Osborne Smith. And first Indian RBI governor was C D Deshmukh. Again, a banking history question, right? Uh, which prime minister of india has also served as a governor of rbi dr manmohan singh and what is depicted in the emblem of rbi in the emblem of rbi there is a tiger and a palm tree okay the golden uh, you know emblem is there which of the following is not a fully owned subsidiary of rbi uh, dicgc brn br bn mpl bharatiya reserve bank note mudran private limited nhb indian financial technology and allied services national housing bank is not a fully owned subsidiary of rbi dicgc uh, bharatiya reserve bank note mudran uh, private limited rebit then uh, and then iftas uh, indian financial technology and allied services nhb is not fully owned by rbi Which organization is responsible for printing currency notes in India and is fully owned subsidiary of RBI? Bharatiya Reserve Bank Mudran Private Limited. It's fully owned subsidiary of RBI and it is responsible for printing currency notes. Which of the following currency presses are owned by RBI? Uh, Nasik and Devas. They are owned by RBI, right? they are owned by uh, the government of india nasik and devas presses are owned by uh, the government of india who owns mysore and salboni currency presses uh, both b and c uh, they are actually owned by bharatiya reserve bank uh, note mudran limited and it is wholly owned subsidiary of rbi mysore and salboni they are owned by rbi while the nasik and devas are owned by the government of india Where coins are minted in India, Mumbai, Hyderabad, Calcutta, and Noida. They are the coins are minted in India. There are four uh, coin mints in India. Who owns all the coin mints in India? Government of India owns all the coin mints in India. According to the Indian Coinage Act, now that's an important question from the whole uh, session that we are doing. Maxim maximum denomination for coins in India is thousand rupee. The maximum one thousand rupee coin can be uh, issued can be in the circulation according to the Indian Coinage Act. And according to the RBI Act nineteen thirty four, what is the maximum denomination for currency notes in India? 
maximum 10,000 rupee note can be issued in India. And which uh, currency note in India bears the signature of Finance Secretary of Government of India? One rupee note bears. Uh, now, this question was asked in the previous RRB paper. I don't remember three, four years back from banking uh, like static. It is static banking. The one rupee note has signature of Finance Secretary. This question was asked in the previous paper. I told, I'm telling you these three, four questions have been asked in the previous papers. One rupee in the on the one rupee note finance there is a signature of finance sec, uh, secretary on all other notes there is signature of RBI governor who signs all other notes except the one rupee note governor of RBI signs all other notes except the one rupee note okay what is the appropriate ratio of RBI's total expenditure towards net income I mean it's one seventh and rest of the money I mean, some of the money is kept as reserves and uh, rest of the money is given to the government of India for the development causes, right? Um, so IBPS RRB scale two and scale three courses, they are available on bankexamstudy.com in which we are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, test series, live sessions and weekly quizzes. Links are available in the description. You can check the description. And that's all for today. IBPS RRB scale two, scale three. And last year, all these students, they took our courses and they cracked their respective exams. And I'm really, really happy for them. And you can be one of them in the future and you will be one of them in the future, right? And that's, I guess, all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.